Donna, I thought about you like every day. I just want to be with you. Oh, hey, Donna. Hey, um, did you see the school paper? <laughs> oh, yeah, field hockey team's going to state. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like someone doesn't want to talk about the new most eligible Viking. <laughs> Look, Donna, this whole uh, most eligible thing has really taught me something. Um, I'm pretty. <laughs> so, what do you say, like, we officially start dating other people? Oh, I've been waiting for your permission. <laughs> And can I stay out past nine, please, please? Okay, as long as you're gonna be cool when you see me with one, two, or seven of Point Place's juiciest tomatoes. It's just like old times. Eric and Donna talking about meaningless crap that affects only them. I've missed it so. Okay now, got your brownies for the new neighbors, Eric? Yes, Mommy. <laughs> How do I look? Well, you got a little something right. Don't touch it. <laughs> I had to sleep sitting up to keep it like this. Well, I just hope these new neighbors are better than the last one. That Gus Griffin was a complete dumbass. <laughs> Hiya, neighbors. Well, hello. We were just coming to welcome you. <laughs> Looks like we beat you to the punchity punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I'm Bob Pinciotti. This is my daughter, Donna. My wife, Midge, will be over later. Her thumb's caught in something right now. Well, we've all done that. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> well, I'm Kitty, and uh, this is Red, and this is our son, Eric. <laughs> Eric, say hello to Donna. String bean. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're strong. Casey, we need to talk. Well, I'm a little swamped right now, foreplay. <laughs> I think Donna thinks you love her. And if you don't, you shouldn't act like you do. What are you, the love police? Hands up. Love police is here. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is that if you don't love her, just don't be with her, okay? Because she's a really special person. And someone out there could really love her. Someone out there, someone right here. Oh, hey, Eric. What are you doing here? He was just leaving. Oh, well, I gotta go too. Hey, Pensiani. Love ya. Well, I... Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, uh... I'll see you later. You see, Foreman... It's just words. You don't have to mean it. If you make her cry... I'm coming right back here to kick your ass. I miss Eric. That guy even looks like Eric. Oh my God! Eric! Donna! I did. Donna, 
I love you. And I have so much to say, but I just... You guys can French all you want. I totally won. <laughs> I was so scared that I'd never feel like this with you again. I mean, Eric, after last year... Donna. I... About Casey and all that stuff? I don't care, okay? I just want to be with you. You know, all summer I hated California. But now that you're here, it's like amazing. This is the most romantic night of my whole life. Yeah, I know, me too. I have sand in my crack. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give you this. Oh my god, is that a... Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid, right? Yeah. <laughs> and... No. I don't know. What would you have done with it? Well, I don't know. I, I guess I would have told you how beautiful you are and that... You mean everything to me. And then I would have gone down on one knee. You know, like this. And I would have taken your hand and taken the ring. Go ahead. <laughs> and I would have put the ring on your finger. Like this. Wow. So, uh, so I'll tell you what, uh, why don't I just hold on to that until, you know, until the real moment comes. Well, sure. Or I could hold on to it. You could? Yeah. Eric, I love you, and I want to be with you forever. Yes. That's what I told everyone, and <laughs> they made me wear the stupid helmet. <laughs> Did we just get? I think we did. Tana, I love you. We are so stupid. I know, right? <laughs> so, Donna, rehearsal dinner tonight, wedding tomorrow. You excited? Um, actually, um, I'm a little nervous. Oh, that's just cold feet. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. Whenever anyone's nervous about marriage, everyone says it's just cold feet but half of all marriages end in divorce. So half of those people getting married should have cold feet. <laughs> but by the time they realize their feet were right, it's too late. <laughs> too late! <laughs> How do I know what to do? There is no answer. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> How you feel is totally normal. A lot of the guys that I'm dating were nervous before their weddings, but now they're all happily married. <laughs> Kitty, Eric is over two hours late. Let's go home. He's not late, Mr. Foreman. He didn't show up because he, he doesn't want to marry me. Hey, you don't know that. Maybe he's just uh, playing hard to get. You. You dirtbag! How can you do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. I freaked out. Okay. I tried to talk to you about it, but I couldn't, and I, I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I, 
Donna, I think we were about to make a huge mistake. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had a bad feeling too. But here's the difference. I stayed. Look, Donna, please. Please forgive me. I don't know. I mean, my mom said I should, but <laughs> I don't know. Listen to me, I am so sorry. Okay, whatever you want to do, we'll do, okay? Just, just tell me what to do. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Get in. Really? Won't you let me walk you home from school? Thanks for coming back. Won't you let me meet you at the I just want to say, I was beautiful. Hey. Don't you hate me. My daughter stayed home from college for you. She could have had a bright future. Sure, she wouldn't be president of a company or anything because she's a gal. <laughs> but she would have been one hell of a secretary. <laughs> Okay, look, Donna, I know you're upset. Eric, if you want to break up with me, just go ahead and do it. What? No. <laughs> Donna, I'm not breaking up with you. Really? Well, did you consider me at all before you decided to run away to Africa? Okay, look, Donna, the reason I'm doing this is for us. Okay, so I can go to college and get a job, you know, so I can deserve you. Don't give me that crap, you're doing it for you. Donna, when my dad got sick and I had to stay at home, I thought I'd missed my only chance. But this is it. This is my second chance. And you're always saying how I gotta get out of this town, how I gotta start my life. God, I thought if anyone was gonna support me in this, it was gonna be you. So, good. Go start it. Look, I really just don't wanna fight about this. What do you wanna do? Movie? <laughs> and then what? Um, I vote the thing we usually do after a movie. <laughs> What's the point of that? Well, I don't know. I think that's, that's re really its own reward. <laughs> I think you need to leave. Donna, I'm not gonna- She said get out. I know, because I was listening the whole time. Okay, fine. Still got me, Cupcake. Thanks, Dad. Happy New Year. Eric. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. I caught the last flight out. So, uh... <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I start college next week. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. So what, you just came back here for New Year's Eve? Look, Don, I... When I left, I was so positive that I was doing the right thing. But now I've been gone so long. Eric, things are a lot different now. I know. It's just, Donna, I thought about you like every day. And you know what? It turns out that, um, 
Red was right. I am a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>